Alrighty, good morning guys. So we are live today. Facebook Live. It's April the 6th. And Thursday morning, a little rainy outside, a little chilly, kind of. It's back and forth with this weather we go. Wish it would make up its mind. And so, um, today we're going to be in Psalm 46. And um, the cats are in the background. They're being a little bit rambunctious. And so hopefully they're not a distraction. Um, an interesting kind of interesting timing today I th- I feel with the passage that we have um, this morning it's 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 interesting to me how often the things that you're going through in life um, and when you read the Bible how you find the passages that you read are exactly what you need to hear and for me I know personally this was one of those deals and so me Go ahead, we're going to jump in. We're in Psalm 46, verses 1 through 5, and it says this, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, and though it waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, and she will not fall. God will help her at the break of day. And the psalmist in this passage is writing about the uncertainty of life and how oftentimes the world can just give way. It gives way to destruction. It gives way to violence. Um... It gives way, even saying that the earth gives way and that the mountains fall into the hearts of the sea. And, you know, sometimes you can watch the news. Sometimes you can observe your life. And sometimes, man, it just feels like everything is falling apart. Um, I've been really, really troubled with um, the news that's come out of Syria with the, the chemical weapons. And the Syrian government using chem- chemical weapons on their own people, and the pictures and the videos, and um, just all of that going on. I mean, it's just it's heartbreaking. And there's there's part of me that just wants to rage when I see that kind of a thing. I was a Marine, and um, you know part. <laughs> part of me just wants to take up arms and just let's let's get this over with and um you know life some it's just it's always giving way it's like there's so much evil in the world there's so much um destruction and violence and brokenness and you know even here in our hometown you know addiction and opiate opiate addiction and heroin in particular is is something that's just robbing people of their lives and the psalmist he he addresses these things that there are these moments where it just feels like everything's falling apart he says that when we find ourselves in that moment that we need to take refuge that god is our refuge that he's our strength and ever present help in our troubles. And, you know, in these moments we have choices. We can, we can either succumb to fear or we can have, or we can put our heart, our hope and trust and faith in God that he's our refuge. And that, that, um, those are usually the two choices that we have to operate from. Now, when we, we choose fear to quote, <laughs> to quote Yoda, you know, fear leads to anger and anger leads to hate and hate leads to suffering. And, and I think, I, I know it's a movie, but there's some truth there. And, you know, when we, when we choose fear, when we fall to fear, you know, we, we usually have two choices. We either try to build security and safety through some sort of false idea, either through, um, whether it's a, you know, you, through money or 
or security or some sort of way we try to protect ourselves or you know for others we we choose a temporary escape whether it be numbing ourselves with drugs alcohol or perhaps just simply a mind a mindless entertainment and i think that when you look at our culture that's oftentimes the choices that we make we we fall into fear and so we we try to either we put our hopes and dreams into a false refuge or a false security or we just try to numb ourselves from it. But the psalmist invites us into a second choice. He invites us into faith. To put our trust and our hope and our refuge in God. That God actually is our refuge. And I think it's for me it's an invitation to, to find rest and refuge in prayer. And I know that for myself, you know, The troubles of this world aren't going to be figured out by government. They're not going to be figured out by um, a military intervention, even though perhaps right now that's what's needed. But at the end of the day, the only thing that's going to change the world is is to change people's hearts. And the only thing that can change people's hearts is the power of Jesus and his good news, his gospel. And so for me this morning, it invites me into a place of prayer. Um, the only weapon we have as Christians in this is, is prayer. I mean, it's not the only weapon, but it's our best weapon. I'll say it like that. And I know that for me, it invites me into a place of praying that God has mercy on these poor people that are facing this kind of oppression and uh, violence. And it invites me into a place of prayer where I ask God to come quickly and bring his justice to those who are, um, those that are bringing injustice. So I don't know, kind of a sober morning for me reading this passage and thinking about the the events of the last couple of days. And so I don't know, hopefully that makes sense. I know that for me, the challenge, the invitation is into a deeper place of prayer where I come, I try to leverage my faith for those Um, that are suffering today. And so hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Today is Thursday, so it's a thankful Thursday. Even though even though life is hard and, and the world is falling apart, we have we can still there are blessings all around us and it's important that we focus on those blessings as well. So I know that today I'm going to be praying on behalf of those in this world that are um that are under Um, attack. And yet at the same time, I'm going to be thankful for the blessings around me. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. We will see you tomorrow on Friday. Love you guys. We'll see you. See you then. Bye.